Look here, pulse rate. If it's presence, we assess the pulse rate, the quality and the rhythm. The pulse rate is give me a number. What is the number of your pulse? Okay, the quality. Is it weak, strong, rhythm? Is it regular or irregular? Absence, well, we have no pulse. No carotid pulse, no radio pulse, no femoral pulse, no pulses. They're not breathing. They're not responsive. It's cardiac arrest. Jump in that chest or compression, get an AD, call 91. Right. Okay. So the way we can do it is we count the number of heartbeats in 30 seconds and multiply it by two. That's a number. We can also, again, check by 15 times by four. Same thing. Now, we count the pulse for a full minute if it feels weak or difficult to palpate very slow or irregular okay if we're like i talked about uh, earlier about the blood pressure when in doubt or a really sick patient get a manual blood pressure okay and remember folks the pulse something i feel the heart rate is on the heart monitor it's on the heart monitor okay the pulse is something i feel okay always consider a patient's normal range if you check my uh, resting heart rate right now i know i'd be below 60s because i do a lot of sports i do a lot of running and i'm working out Okay, for athletes, they may have a lower heart rate than average, but that is normal for them. So you gotta ask your patient, are you an athlete? Is your heart rate normally low? Have your doctor ever said it to you before? Especially if they're coming in your ambulance and, and this isn't a checkup, they're calling 911. So we wanna ask about that. Tachycardia above 100, bradycardia below 60, by definition in the textbooks. But what is normal for them? 